Hi vlog! Welcome back to another YouTube video. So as you can probably tell by the title, this vlog is a little holiday home vlog. I have so much this year to be grateful for and I just feel really blessed and grateful. So it is Saturday today and I need to go run a few errands. I'm going to head over to my parents. So Christmas Eve is tomorrow night and I'm going over to my parents for Christmas Eve. But tonight I thought I would go over because I just want to spend time with them. I do want to run downstairs before I head out for the night um, to go to my parents and run a few errands. I want to do a little PR unboxing for you guys. I'm so grateful for all the brands that send me stuff. Sometimes I can't get them all up on my Instagram story because I don't like being like super spammy with my Instagram. So this is, I feel like, a good platform to do a little PR haul for you guys. So I'm going to run downstairs and we will do that together. Also, my dad's Christmas present got here. So I'm going to open that with you guys. It's a really special one. Okay. So a little backstory behind this present. My dad is the hardest working person that I know. He has just done so much for me as so many dads do. I'm just so lucky to have him in my life. I never ever take that for granted. He's an orthopedic surgeon and chief of surgery at the hospital that he works at and I've never ever bought him something really nice because whenever I've asked him what he wanted he said nothing. Save your money or invest it in yourself. He's just like not a big gift guy. He doesn't really buy many expensive things for himself. He's not a designer guy and he's not a watch fanatic. He's not someone who has always dreamed of having a certain watch or someone who's saving up for a certain watch. He doesn't own a Rolex and that's what I got him oh my god okay I bought expensive gifts for people before and I don't think that and I stand by that it's not like how much something costs that makes it that special I don't think you need to buy someone a really nice watch to show them that you love them but that being said I do think there's something really special about getting someone a watch whatever the brand might be because it's just really timeless it's something they wear every day I don't know why this is so emotional for me I think that this is so emotional for me because this year was a lot bigger for me um, for me for my business and he had a really amazing year with his work I'm struggling way more with this than I thought I'm literally just opening it okay anyways this is the first time that I'm seeing this watch I need to just get through this but this is my dad's first Christmas without his dad. My dad was very close with his dad and it's been really, really hard for him. But anyways, I'm gonna open this so I stop crying. It's so nice. It has like a little plastic thing over it, but I've never um, bought my dad something this nice before. Here's the watch. Um, my dad would never buy this for himself, ever. So I'm really, really excited to give this to him. He's gonna be really, really surprised. He's definitely not expecting something like this, so I'm really excited to give this to him. Yeah. I also have another surprise for my brother that I've been, like, keeping a secret from you guys that's, like, bigger as big. Not expensive-wise, but just, like, it's a big gift, um for my brother. So two surprises um, at Christmas. And obviously I got things for my sister and for my mom, but my brother's surprise is from my parents and I. It was actually my parents' idea to get my brother this gift. And then I just wanted to pitch in um, and help pay for it. And then I picked up the surprise. Um, but anyways, let's go over to all of the gifting. I sort of made a mess out of it today going through it. But I'm going to try to run through some of it to show you guys. Tart sent over some of my favorites. It's really nice. Bumble and Bumble. I don't know how to pronounce this, which is probably really silly, but this is a really high-end skincare brand. I love their stuff. LaCroix. Nude Sticks sent some stuff. These look bomb. I'm guessing this is Day Hair Care. Literally my favorite hair care brand. They always send the cutest big boxes. Summer Fridays sent a little restock of all of my favorites. This rich cloud cushion cream is insane. I've gone through a few of those. Silk Hour. Lemmy sent a little restock. Jouer Cosmetics sent this cute bag. So cute. The US Ski Team sent over some really cute stuff. I think they did a collab with Naked Cashmere. There's so much stuff. Graza, the olive oil company, my favorite olive oil, sent that. That's so nice. So Maybelline sent this like 
massive lip thing that fell and I spilt it. But these are my favorite candies by Sugarfina and they literally packed the whole bag and I've been like eating them today. Over here, I made a bit of a mess today because I was taking pictures of all this. But Mage sent these two gorgeous jackets. I'm going to wear this one tonight, I think. Self-portrait. The dress that I wore to Wimbledon. It's like a really beautiful brand. Sent me a purse for the Australian Open. And there's also a dress coming. I actually want to keep this stuff a surprise. I want to keep all my Australian Open outfits a surprise. But that was really exciting. Burberry sent this really gorgeous perfume bottle. I'm actually really excited. I'm already wearing perfume, so I'm not going to put it on, but I am excited about this. And then Burberry also sent this silk scarf, which is just so pretty. Love Shack Fancy sent a box. I'm making an absolute mess in here. Oh my god, that is so cute. This is the cutest jacket ever. It's part of their um, collection with a Bogner. It's a little like winter skiing sort of cute jacket but i also have a lot of clothes upstairs that i need to go through because the watch unboxing took me like 30 minutes i actually need to run but i'm going to quickly show you guys a few more things and then maybe we can like really get into this stuff that i have to put away in my vlog for next week stod sent me the cutest beach bag i'm definitely gonna bring this to australia and they sent me like a little beachy outfit and then shoes this like really pretty cover-up free people sent their advent calendar that i'm like gonna pick through i kind of want to give this to my sister because she just loves free people and then gucci sent me some of their makeup products and their perfume i'm actually really excited to try some of their makeup i haven't really tried any of their makeup and then my friend emma sent this gorgeous collaboration with Grey Goose. Emma's olives and Grey Goose. Just really cool. Super proud of her. This is a really cool thing for her and her brand. A huge accomplishment. So that's really, really cool. Okay. We are going to run to Terrain, which you guys know. It's my favorite home store. I just want to run out and grab some pretty tissue paper. What else? Oh, I want to grab a wreath to bring to my parents tonight for dinner. I was actually not planning on going over to my parents tonight just because I'm going over there tomorrow and then Christmas and it's like 40 minutes away but I really wanted to cook and I'm alone at my house so but I want to make them the meatballs that I made in two vlogs ago it's vlog I'm really excited um I haven't seen my brother in a while I really want to give him his surprise and my parents also were like Paige we should just um, give him the surprise today and although I am someone who hates surprises I think that this should actually just be a surprise um, especially on Christmas Christmas has always been really like the most special holiday for my family and I feel like it's just gonna be such a better memory if we give him his gift on Christmas although I do want to give it to him now I just think it's better to wait. So I'm really excited for you guys to see that in this vlog. my skincare routine. Did a little mask and then I applied my bare faced hydrating lotion. I'm almost out of this. 
I've been really loving this. Anyways, let's get right into it. I'm just gonna start with my favorite foundation of all time. I'm gonna mix these two shades in medium warm and medium tan olive. So I put some of this, say, sun glow on my chest. Um, but yeah, this foundation's definitely my favorite. I started using it this summer. For me personally, I feel like it sits the best on my skin. It's slightly dewy, but when I'm doing like a full glam, I really don't like too dewy. Yeah, I just feel like it's like the perfect consistency. Okay, before concealer, I'm gonna do my contour. I've said this before, but I feel like when you do contour first, you actually can use less concealer. Sometimes, honestly, I even like the look of just contour and no concealer, just for like a more sun-kissed sort of look. So right now, I'm getting ready for Christmas Eve with my family. I'm getting ready pretty early. It's 2 p.m. right now. I'm gonna go over and help my mom cook, and I have some presents to wrap. So I'm getting ready on the earlier side, although I think we're gonna eat early. I think we're gonna eat at like five. So yeah, that's why I thought I would do a little get ready with me with you guys. Next, I'm gonna go in with Deep Maple by Nude Sticks. One of my favorites. I haven't decided yet what I wanna do with my eyes tonight. Maybe I'll keep it really natural and do like a little shimmer on my inner corner. I wonder if I should do like a reddish lip. Valentino sent me this really pretty like red gloss. Maybe we'll do something fun with this. Okay, now for concealer. I'm gonna go in with the hourglass, just a little bit right there. This concealer is really, really nice. Oh, Tommy's calling me. Hi. Hey. Merry Christmas Eve. I'll call you when I'm driving down to my parents. All right, can't wait. And then I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Forever palette and kind of just like go over the concealer that I just did. Same on this side. And then I'm actually gonna go in with a pretty light shade on my eyelids, just to prep my eyelids. Now a little bit of nose contour. I'm really, really liking this palette. Going with like this warmer tan shade in my crease to start to warm up my crease. Also guys, this is the lip blush update. I don't have anything on my lips right now besides um, a lip mask. They're pretty dry right now, but I'm really happy with how the color is healing. So Gucci sent this really pretty bronzer. So I've been using this since literally high school. It's called Sunkissed and Natural by MAC. It's very warm tone. I use this as an eyeshadow. I use it as a bronzer. I really like warmer bronzers, if you can't tell. So this is a warm tone bronzer, so I'm really excited about it. Ooh, okay, very pigmented, so be careful. That's really pretty. I'm actually gonna take my eyeshadow brush and run this all along my crease. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Kosas Undressed and I'm just going to further prep my eyelids. I'm gonna use the shade Hint, which is really like a white tan. And I'm just gonna put that just on my eyelids like this. And then I'm just gonna take a fluffier brush and kind of just before I finish my eyes, I'm just going to put on some blush and set my under eyes. I talked about this in a video before, the Rosy Glow in 12 Rosewood. It is so pretty. It's this dark pink color. This is my all-time favorite blush. I wish they had it in cream. And then I have this little mini Huda Beauty Pink um, setting powder. I use a little travel applicator on most of my face with just like the excess. And then I take my little puff from Amazon and do my under eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna use this Dior highlighter palette. This is in Glitz. I really like using these as sort of like, as like a shimmer eyeshadow color. I'm loving this Patrick Ta eyebrow pencil a lot. I've recently kind of rediscovered, gone back into the L'Oreal telescopic Mascara. It's a really good mascara. I feel like it really separates the lashes more than anything. Okay, so this is my entire makeup pouch full of lip liner. I have so much lip liner. I'm gonna go on with the Sephora Mini in light brown, and then I'm gonna try that red gloss over it. That's really nice though. It's really 
thin and smooth. I really like this. Now I'm just gonna set my face. A brush, flawless setting powder by Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, that's all guys. I'm gonna go downstairs and wrap some presents, but I have something to show you guys. So, okay, well. <laughs> Come here! Whoa, look who it is! So that puppy is for my brother. So a lot of you guys don't know Jack, my brother, because he doesn't use social media and doesn't want to use social media. And he's kind of like a shy, quiet guy. So my family has an English bulldog. And it's basically Jack's dog, but the dog is really, really aggressive. And so therefore Jack couldn't bring the dog to school with him, which was hard on my brother. My brother is like obsessed with my family's dog. His whole camera roll is just like dogs and Thurman and Baloo. So we had the idea to finally get him his own dog and a dog that he can actually travel with. So I actually went and picked up this little guy in Miami and Tommy and I were watching him all week. Whoa, big yawn. And guys, when I say this is the sweetest, cutest dog, the dog in Florida was like completely obsessed with Tommy. Hi, Bean. Like literally slept on Tommy's head every night. It's literally the sweetest dog and the cutest dog. Jack's gonna love you so much. I actually need to take him to my neighbors in my hometown. I'm very close with my neighbor, Max. He lives in Ohio now, but he was like all of our best friends growing up. I'm gonna take him over to Max's and he's gonna stay with Max for the night. I really wanna give him the dog on Christmas. It's been so fun. My mom sent me the listing for the dog and it was in Miami and she was like, is there any way you could go and pick up the dog for us? She was like, right before you head back home, and I literally drove that night and picked up the dog so I could have it for like a week. I was about to run out and then Tommy sent me these pretty flowers. Tommy is so cute. Hey little bean, you ready to go? You're so cute. We are heading out. I feel like every Christmas I get like I have a cold. All right, so next stop is my neighbor Max's. My dad doesn't cook all year besides this one sauce. <laughs> Oh,